morning guys, Skipper here. Hope you're well. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe and ring the bell. Uh, so yeah guys, uh, physical versus digital. Where have, have the arcades gone? Uh, do you remember the days you used to walk in the arcade? You had all the fancy neon lights on the floors, all the machines as a kid. You was loving it, you was lost, you was in the world. Where's it all gone? Now, to me, from personal experience, obviously I was born in the 80s. Uh, I remember all the arcades all the machines and everything and I'd say around the 90s, 2000 we're coming to the digital era, we're starting to digital uh, maybe maybe a bit later, 2010 now I was exactly the same guys, yeah physical or digital now the digital has kind of killed off the physical, the arcades the market quite a bit in the last few years with it really taking off but we are actually seeing an increase in like pop-up arcades like the arcade club, keep it retro, places like that that are making a comeback and they're really, really popular. Now, what's the advantages of physical? Uh, you own the item, you've got something to trade, you know, it's worth money, you can look at it, you can feel it. I am a physical gamer at heart. Uh, digital, I know exactly how you feel, guys. No space, it's very easy to store your games, yeah? In many cases, it's cheaper. Uh, whether you're running it on a, a computer, a PC, whether it's your PlayStation Store, your Xbox One S, it's so easy, you can just, convenient, you can just click it, buy the game cheaper and it's on there, it looks pretty, yeah? Now, I did this, I did this guys, and this is what I'm trying to warn everybody, yeah, about digital gaming. People don't believe me, I was a big digital gamer myself, yeah? So what I did was, uh, I bought an account, I can't publicly announce the developers or, or the account, because I had a, a contract signed, now over a space of a few years I bought all these digital games guys and I not only bought the games I was buying them I mean imagine a game like Fortnite yeah you buy the game you buy the pack you buy the add-ons yeah and people spend and they get addicted to it because they want to be ranked in the world yeah and they want to be ranked and, and this is what I did on, on a few games yeah and I spent nearly £3,000 in a few years on a digital account yeah £3,000 I was like ranked 6 six in the world on one of these games yeah I was addicted to it I had digital addiction yeah and then one day I got a message saying that's it they're closing the account and I'm like what honestly guys I was like what eh, I spent all that money on it what and they said yeah and I looked into it and what happens with digital is the licenses expire so a developer all these games you see on the play store and the xbox store yeah and we're already seeing it now the licenses expire as well, they don't renew the contracts for the license. A lot of the games have driver software. Uh, the games start shutting down, a lot of the games. So I predict in the future, a lot of your digital accounts will close. Imagine all the money you've spent on a lot of it. It won't work. You're wasting your money, yeah? I promise you. Now if you look at this little sheet I've got here, uh, I've obviously crossed out some of the bits. And I went to court, had a bit of an argument and stuff, and the solicitors involved in that. And the company actually ended up dealing with me because they didn't want it to go wide scale public. Signed a few things and that's the amount of money I got back. So I'm not kidding. I, when they said it's closing, my heart was in my mouth, guys. It was in my mouth, yeah? I promise you. Don't spend it on digital. If you're going to do it, go Raspberry Pi route. That's what I did, yeah? Raspberry Pi is brilliant because you can put it into an emulator. Uh, Looks like an arcade cab emulator. You own it. It looks cool. It's got a retro feel. And I'm actually finding that some of the old machines that they can't repair in the arcades, they turn into some modern technology like the Raspberry Pi. And they're actually incorporating the new technology into the old arcade cabs. And I think that's a great way to reserve, you know, to reserve all the arcades. It's a great reservation. They're keeping the original arcades and the, you know, some of them that they can't repair. They're using modern technology. Now, as I say, I know how you feel, guys, about digital. You know, I, I have been there. I would say don't do it. You know, if you're going to do digital, just buy a few bits. Don't go mental. Don't have your old collection or your old account based on digital. Because, like me, you will regret it. And I was very, very lucky. I think now that... And the only reason I was lucky is because when I took the account out, I don't know why, I took screenshots and like on my PC and all that lot of, of all 
of the terms and conditions. How many of you guys read the terms and conditions in all these digital accounts? One, one out of a thousand maybe? Probably none of you, you've, not, you've never read the terms and conditions. You click the box, yes, you download it and you play it, yeah? And it's fine now, you'll give it maybe three, five, ten years, I predict you'll lose a lot, so don't spend all your money on it, yeah? Now, I've got a cab, I own the cab, it's got thousands of emulated games on. Now, this is where I think it's good for emulation, yeah? Now, I can go to the machine, I can play a game that I'd maybe like to buy on physical, uh, example Streets of Rage 3 I've got one and two on the Mega Drive and I thought I'll play it on the machine first before I buy it uh, it's about 80 90 pound physical so it's a very expensive retro game and I tried it on my cabinet I didn't like it guys it's rubbish it's rubbish so I'm very good so for that side of it you know if you're gonna do emulation or digital on that just invest in the cab a full cab yeah get it on it it looks cool you know it's in your game room guys your family complain it, you'll complain it, you own it, you own it, yeah. You don't need internet to play it. You know, once you've once you've bought it, that's it. Uh I'll show you it guys. If you've not seen that, I'll show you it. So yeah, always guys, do physical, I promise. Do physical, dapple in digital, dapple in it. Do a little bit, get a little bit, but don't base all your collection or your gaming experiences on a digital account, because you will regret it guys. So yeah, we're gonna jump straight onto my cab. I'm going to give you a quick run through it. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, and keep on gaming. So yeah, from what you do Super Nintendo, I jump on like this guys, and look at this look. Now, I'd love to buy a lot of these games, but what I'll do now is, I will physically play some of these games and it's such a great party piece as well. I mean, I own this, I don't need any internet to play it. I don't have to pay anybody, it looks cool, it is cool, it's great. You know, it's an expensive piece of kit, it wasn't the cheapest. But as I say, it's really worth it. I mean, now this is one for me. I mean, there's thousands of games out here, as you can see, yeah? These are all Super Nintendo, I mean, to buy these you'd be into thousands, yeah? This is this for me, yeah. I mean, you've all got it, aren't you? Probably when you're looking at this on your digital accounts, you've got it on your P PlayStation desktop or your Xbox One, and you've got all your games. Well, look at this. I paid one off fee for this, and I, I own it all, yeah. I don't need internet. You know, they can never take it away. You know, it's got all these games on. Do you know what I mean? I mean, that's just a few. Random look guys, it's so cool. So that's that one. So I mean look at that, the SG-1000 guys, I mean look at this. It's wicked, I'll, I'll show you a few of it guys. This for me, this is the way forward yeah. If you're a physical collector like me, and you want something that's, that's got the digital feel to it, you know, this is it for me. Sega CD. 32x, what a system! Do you know what I mean? I mean, after have to bear now. Come on, guys, this this is this is what you want. God, remember this. I mean, this this is like the arcades, guys, for me, yeah. And this is what it's about. If this is what you like, yeah, don't go buying it and buying games. Just get a cabinet. You know, get everything you want on it. I mean, look at this, guys. It's awesome. Look at this. Oh. It's so good. It's so good. I'm going to be playing this later. I love After Burnout. It's wicked. Yeah, it's awesome. Awesome games, guys. So, yeah. And you just go like this, back. Click like that, look, double button, and that's it, you're back on it, guys. Set it to X. You got all sorts, you can, and you can add to this, guys. This is a system you can add to if you wanted to. You can upgrade it. I mean, look at some of these games. It's 
So yeah, hopefully that's uh, made you more aware of digital guys. Don't do it. The developers want you to do it. They want you to get a contract. They want to take your money, yeah? Because in years to come, you regret it, I promise. Trust me, I've been there and I was very, very lucky. So yeah, cheers guys. Thanks for watching.